With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a liquid is coming out from the orifice of tank and falls up to a maximum horizontal distance of 6 meter. The height h is equal to, so we can say here the liquid which let's say emerges out that is at flux speed of this liquid here from the orifice of the tank is given here by the formula root under 2g into h where h is the height of the water level from the let's say top to this orifice hole and this here is the maximum range of this projectile and we can say here if the total height of this water tank is suppose our capital H and we can say here this height here will be our H minus H we can say here this height here is our H minus H so the time taken to land on the surface will be equal to we can use the equation S equal to UT plus half AT square along the y direction so here displacement along y direction is minus of h minus h initial velocity along y direction is 0 and half of is minus 10 into here it will be total time of the flight of this projectile that is t square so here t comes out to be our we can say as root under this is our h minus h divided by we have here as 5 meter so we can say here this is the time of the flight we have here horizontal component of velocity so this range which is let's say 6 meter is equal to our v into t as acceleration along x direction is 0 so this comes as root under this here is 2gh into this part here is our root under we can say as h minus h divided by 5 hence this value is given as 6 meter now the question says this range has to be maximum hence we can say here this range comes out here as range is equal to we can say here this 2 into 10 as 20 and divided by 5 becomes 4h into we have here as h minus h which must be equal to 6 so here range comes as 2 under root of here this is our h into h minus h which is equal to 6 now to find the maximum range we have here maxima minima concept so for maximum range we can say here differentiation of the range with respect to the variable which here is small h must be equal to 0 so now differentiating this with respect to small h we can say here this comes as 2 into here differentiation this becomes 1 by 2 root under this here is h into h minus h and differentiation of this becomes our let's say h into h is h minus h square differentiation is 2h which is equal to 0 hence we have here as h minus 2h is equal to 0 that is we can say that at h equal to h by 2 here we have the range as maximum now to determine whether at h equal to h by 2 range is maximum or not we can here let's say double differentiate this so here using double differentiation concept so d2 square r divided by dh square so this is our d by dh of dr by dh where dr by dh value here we have as h minus 2h divided by under root of this here is h into h minus of h now differentiating this again so we can say here this comes out as our division rule becomes square root of h into h minus h whole square so this becomes square root let's say eliminates out and here denominator into we can say here differentiation of numerator that is here this becomes 0 minus 2 minus of here we can say numerator into we have here differentiation of this denominator that is 1 upon 2 root under this is our h into we 
have here as h minus h into here then this becomes h minus of this part here is our 2h. So here now substituting the value h equal to h by 2. So if we substitute here as h equal to h by 2 we get here this is our let's say minus 2 times this becomes our h by 2 into h minus h by 2 also becomes h by 2 minus of here this becomes as let's say substituting h by 2 so this h minus h part becomes 0 into whole factor becomes 0 divided by in the denominator there is h by 2 into here also this becomes h by 2 hence we can say 1 h by 2 cancels out hence this value becomes our minus of 4 divided by we can say as h which comes to be negative since h is positive negative means here at this height let's say we can say here maximum range comes so maximum range comes at h by 2 hence for maximum range here at 6 meter we can say h must be equal to h by 2 so we have here 2 under root of this part becomes our h by 2 into this is also our h by 2 is equal to 6 so this is equal to 2 into we have here as h by 2 is equal to 6 hence h becomes here 6 meter that is value of small h is being asked 6 by 2 which here is equal to 3 meter so we can say here the value of let's say h for which the range here is maximum hence option number 2 3 meter is the correct answer so 3 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today